You're driving westbound on the 118 through Simi Valley. To the left, there's one of those official welcome to Simi Valley signs. You know, the kind with the flags and the seals of the local civic groups. Uh, and up there on the right, that's the unofficial welcome sign. A big old happy face, and that makes others happy. You're smiling. Well, I should be. Yeah? I'm my happy face. That's Simi Valley Mayor Bob Huber, who says the face personifies his community. We're happy here in Simi Valley. But this didn't happen because the city commissioned it. It started as a prank. I like doing practical jokes. I have a history of doing them. Meet Sonny, the you? sunshine behind that smile. Sonny Clamorous, a Northridge gardener who says it was 20 years ago, February 1998, when he first used cans of weed killer to turn the hillside into a canvas and to make that 150 foot wide happy face. Now, Many of you have told me through Facebook you're convinced it's been there a lot longer than 1998. But watch what happened when I tried to tell Sonny that. You know there are people that think this goes way back, long before that. There are people I was that there. Think went, there, there are people that How? went to the 70s. How? I was there. I know when it was. But there's a lot you may not know. In 2008, 10 years after this, Sonny fell on hard times. I was getting outdated sandwiches from the dumpster next to the 7-Eleven. You were eating out of the trash because that's all you could get. Yeah, but they were clean. I knew when they put them out, so I got them and they were still cold. And then things got sizzling hot for Sonny. He won the lottery, a million bucks. His life got better, and actually so did the happy faces because the Rotary Club moved in and started helping get the face back in shape after several years of it sagging into disrepair. The eyes, the smile, were a little different than Sonny first created. It is different. I think, you know, we made it a little bigger so people could see it a little farther away. No artist likes his work painted over or changed or altered in any, any way. But to Sonny, it still makes people smile even if it had a facelift. They may have changed the face. In 20 years, it's changed. In 20 years, your face has probably changed. My face has, has probably changed. Yeah, I'm fatter. <laughs> I'm fatter. I, I'm uglier. <laughs> I don't think so. Thank you. What kind of money did you put into trying to rehabilitate that? There wasn't a lot of money. There was a lot of uh, hands-on, shovels, rakes, a lot of people involved, a lot of volunteers. That's what we do in Rotary. There's one more story I want to tell you about this man, Alan Shack, and his brother, Steve Apostolov. About five years ago, late in December of 2013. We came in through the Yosemite Way under cover of dark. Shaq says his brother Steve, who sadly passed away in 2017, he has a happy face tattoo on his arm to remember him always, wanted to bring light to the happy face so it would be smiley all around the clock. Happy train. They got solar lamps for the eyes and mouth, and up the hill they went. We came up, we actually had to use an auger bit to drill into the ground because it's so hard, you can't just push a plastic stake in there. It was pretty cool, says Shaq. Well, there was a night Steve wanted to pull an April Fool's joke and flip the smile to a frown. He took a couple of photos for social media and then flipped it back. But that was just him. It's, you know, doing stuff just to be a funny guy, be a nice guy. What started as a prank 20 years ago. I wanted to get a rise out of people, see what they'd say. Has become a symbol. And Sonny has come to know just how much his work is appreciated by people who drive by Happy Face Hill. It makes me feel happy. I think it's really cool. I originally thought it was kind of hokey, a little corny, but i um, been here and see me for 14 years, and it's, it's part of home. I like it. Don't worry, be happy. He's modest. Oh, shoot. I'm a wonderful guy. Just joking, he's actually a very funny guy who gave this community something to smile about. It's an icon for the valley. That the Rotary Club is happily maintained. You know, we got to give Sonny big uh, kudos. He started it. Period. He started it. We carried the football after that. When uh, so we always got to thank him. Thank you for that. On behalf You're of welcome. the citizens of Simi Valley for your creativity. Mayor Huber and Lynn Wilson, Wilson thank him. Uh, Wilson is the Happy Faces next door neighbor. That was the reason you picked That's this the particular I place. I picked this lot. Yes, sir. And every day she starts her day with a smile. Happy. Thanks to you know who. Happy.